So at the end of it, the, the outcome was satisfactory, but he had somewhere in the region of 250 hours worth of time that had been spent trying to, um, to, to deal with it. It might seem like rubber stamping or dotting the I's and crossing the T's, but, but it does mean, I, I, I'll give you an example. I have a client that I dealt with, I've dealt with for years um, and they had a husband and wife company where they had only always acted just with one person. You know, the husband was the main um, operator within the business. Um, he signed all of the accounts. He signed the tax return. He signed the letter of representation, all of these bits. Um, the husband and wife fell out and were going through um, an acrimonious divorce. And the wife wasn't happy with some of the decisions that had been made um, in terms of the distribution of assets out of the company and so on, um, and came back to the accountant and said, but you never asked me. I never saw these accounts. I never signed these accounts. I never did this. Um, and they put a complaint into the professional body and the complaint wasn't upheld. And she tried to sue the firm of accountants because she felt that, you know, sort of they hadn't communicated effectively with her and it was dismissed before it came through. So you can say, well, OK, why was it a problem? Um, the issue of why it was a problem was because of the amount of time that it took the accountant to actually deal with it. So at the end of it, the, the outcome was satisfactory, but he had somewhere in the region of 250 hours worth of time that had been spent trying to um, to, to deal with it. Um, that could have been dealt with so much easier if they'd have had a clearer understanding at the confirmation stage you know if they'd have just had that little bit that she'd signed to say that she'd seen it that said that she gave him authority to just communicate with the one person and that that assumed that she'd have known what was going on that would have been fine mm -hmm.